and this is another one, going to a blind, obviously, because this whole video is going to a blind. I swear, I need to start scripting my videos because I, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with another Top 5 Wednesday video. Top 5 Wednesday was originally created by Lainey over at Ginger Reads Lainey, and it is now run by Sam over at Thoughts on Tomes, so I'll leave both their links down below, as well as the Goodreads group, if you want to check out the topics and whatnot. This week's topic is books to read without the synopsis, so this is either synopsises that spoil the book. The way that I'm taking it is books that you should go into blind without reading the synopsis because it just gives a better experience. So without further ado, let us get started. So my first book is actually going to be like an entire author and that is Ellen Hopkins. If you're new to this channel, I have an obsession with Ellen Hopkins. I love all of her books. This was actually the first one that I read of hers and it was by far my favorite so far. Other than Burned, I really liked Burned by her as well. I feel like Ellen Hopkins books should just go in blind, don't read the synopsis, and the plot twist at the end, you know that there's always going to be a plot twist, but not reading the back of the book makes it so much better. So I personally just think that you should never read the synopsis is for Ellen Hopkins' book. The next book that I chose to be on this list is The Art of Starving by Sam J. Miller, and the only synopsis I'm going to give for this book is that it pertains a boy who is suffering from anorexia, and that's all I'm going to say, because 100% I went into this book completely blind, and it takes a completely different turn than you expect it would, and it was such a good book. I could not get enough of it when I was reading it. I read it for the Booktubeathon. If you want to see my vlogs for the Booktubeathon, I would suggest them because they're really stupid, but they're kind of funny, in my opinion. The next book I have is The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tor. The only thing I'm going to say about this one is that it follows a serial killer who locks herself into apartment 6E. It is so good. I have a full review of it if you want to check it out. I mean, like, I give a synopsis then, but definitely... This book is such a good thriller book and the plot twist in it just, ugh, I love this book. The next book I have is It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. I also have a full review of this if you're interested, but all I'm going to say about this one is that it follows an abusive relationship, but it is done so incredibly well and I just love this book as well. I did not see half of it coming, although like you obviously do see half of it coming. It's, it's hard to explain without reading the book, but like highly suggest reading the book. And then the final book that I have is We Are the Ants by Sean David Hutchinson. If you guys don't know, this is Dylan's favorite book and Dylan sent it to me, so thank you so much Dylan because it is one of my favorite books now. It's one of those books that you actually do really need to go into it blind because it makes no sense, but it works so well. Like, I just, I, the whole time I was reading it, I was so confused, but at the same time I knew exactly what was going on. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't because this book makes no sense, but it's so good. Alright guys, so that was my top 5 Wednesday for this week. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books, what you thought of them. Also let me know down below some books that you think you should go into blind because I love those kind of books, so I will read them if you suggest them to me. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!